Hello, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, this is your Monday, the new thing that I'm doing, um, Manifesting Monday video. So I hope you know who I am. Um, but there have been a lot of new subscribers to my email list, and thank you so much. So I am Sarah V. And this email, you know, I feel like, you know, I can express myself in an even more authentic way when I do uh, these videos. So this is kind of why I, I do my videos on Monday and then I do my emails on Friday. But manifested, you know, the reason why I did this is because, you know, healing is not sexy. That's kind of my tagline, um, because we all we all want if we all want to um, experience manifesting. You know, it's the other side of healing. It's the sexy part of healing when we learn how to heal. When we heal, when we feel those uncomfortable feelings. So this is this is why you know I'm not going to come in here and say you know healing e email or healing videos because I'll, I don't think a lot of people would even open them. But when I talk about the um, you know the sexy part of healing, which is manifesting, I think there's you know people are more apt to um, you know to to open the email to watch it. Hopefully. Um, but, you know, this is this is something that I remember, you know, doing in my life when I was trying to manifest, you know, my most amazing um, spiritual, abundant, financially abundant, you know, abundant in so many er other areas of my life. And I wanted to share with you that I, you know, went through the same thing that perhaps you have been doing. Um, you know, thinking that I can manifest what I want, even when I have the old stories that I've been connected to, um, and I thought was my own identity. So Manifesting Mondays, this is something new. I'm going to kind of give you tips on um, some of the things that I experienced and that I um, healed in order for me to feel the sexy part of healing and manifest I would say my most amazing life. I have just come back from an, a very empowering um, um, conference in Chicago. So I'm feeling um, very, um, you know, alive and flow. I actually have a very bad toothache. So I, I just wanted to make sure that I showed up for you before the pain started again. So I'm going to go to the dentist tomorrow. But this was a big one. And I am wearing this t-shirt and it says too much and proud wait, was it? And, and proud of it. And I'm wearing this because this was something that was I was constantly reminded about that I was to something. And one of the things that I remember being told that I was too much of is too emotional that I was too sensitive, that I kind of was always in, um, or maybe too much of a thinker and too much wanting to, um, you know, go within, I don't know, but the too emotional thing really sticks out of my mind. I don't know if there's anything that, that you were reminded that you were too something of, but too emotional actually has helped me to get to the other side of healing, allowing myself to know that feeling emotions is the most important thing that we can do when we are healing, when we are growing, when we are getting connected to the core essence of who we are, feeling our emotions, allowing them to be there. I never had a space where it felt safe or comfortable um, to express. And now I'm in this beautiful place that I feel supported, that I'm allowed to feel whatever it is that's coming up. And when I learned how to feel my emotions, 
that was the sexy part of healing is because I was, you know, clearing the reservoir, if you will. I don't know if anybody, if any of you have seen my um, manifesting, man, manifesting, um, clearing the reservoir um, video meditation that you should have received. If you joined my books.cerave.com, it's still available if you, if you want to see that, but learning how to clear the reservoir, you know, the, the, um, energy center of our, our, our emotions, you know, starting from the root sacral solar plexus, heart, throat, um, third eye and crown. When we learn to clear all those by letting go of the stories and healing the stories and reframing, we are able to, you know, really be open. Our energy is incredibly open to what is already on its way. And when I learned how to do this, my life completely changed. And one of the ways that I learned how to do this is I learned how to use the emotional scale. And if you are not familiar with this, this is an Abraham Hicks, um, you know, it's kind of the, the, a guidance scale and it's a scale about emotions. And, you know, what I used to do, and this is what really blocked me a lot is I tried to go from a very, very low emotional vibration feeling um, as the lowest of the low. And we know we all have experienced it. When I felt fear or grief or desperation or powerlessness, which is the absolute very, very bottom of the emotional scale, I expected myself to go from fear and the very low heavy vibration all the way up to joy. You know, joy is the highest point of the emotional scale, empowerment, freedom, and of course, this feeling or this emotion of love. So when I, and I didn't know about the emotional scale until, you know, my, my mentor showed me how to use it. I, when I didn't, when I couldn't get myself from that absolute bottom, low, heavy feeling fear to expect myself to feel joy, you know, very quickly, I would start to judge myself. And that kept me in the place of, you know, I, I called it kind of the bottomless pit. So if you, you know, I won't go into it here, but I really encouraged you to go look up the emotional scale because it really helped me to take one step above fear. And I'll just kind of give you some examples of, you know, the, the next step above, you know, fear, grief, desperation, despair, powerlessness is the bottom. And actually you know, two steps up is, you know, if you're feeling revenge or anger, some, you know, a feeling like that, you think it's, it's lower, but it's actually higher than the fear, grief, desperation, despair, and powerlessness. You'll, you'll understand this a little bit more if you just kind of see, um, you know, the, the, the different levels of emotion. And when I allowed myself just to step one step above, it was like, okay, this is good. It's like taking a step up a stairway. You know, you don't take a step all the way from the bottom and jump all the way to the top of the stairs. You take one step above it. And this is exactly what the emotional scale, um, uh, you know, is it, it's extremely powerful when you start learning how to use that. Because of course, when we start to open to joy, appreciation, empowerment, freedom, and love, you know, love, I'm feeling joy, you know, probably 90% of my life now. And I know how to get there. You know, I've cleared, I've healed so many of my emotions because I allowed myself to feel them. I honored them. I let them be there. I felt uncomfortable. And, you know, I've healed insecurity, I've healed jealousy, and I, I healed rage in, in my, in one of my chapters of my book, I think, I don't know which it is, chapter seven, um, that I did a lot of anger um, therapy. Um, so I don't have anger inside of me anymore. I don't worry. I doubt my, there are some times when I'm doing something new that I'm doubting. 
Um, but it's higher up than fear, grief, desperation, powerlessness. So you'll you'll understand if you kind of see a visual, but I don't I don't want to um, spend the time you know going through each one. But I really encourage you to you know to Google the emotional scale. Abraham Hicks, also Gabby Bernstein, uses uses the same method, and you will understand that some of the lower um, emotions that you can feel are actually higher in vibration because we're always talking about frequency and vibration and you know the whole idea is to constantly feel joy appreciation empowerment freedom and love all the time because that is an emotion of completely opening to the universe what you want to manifest when we are trying to manifest we get to be at the highest frequency energetically as possible. So look it up and see if there is anything that, you know, what is the emotion that you're feeling? And, and another point is we have to really recognize what em exactly is the emotion that we're feeling. And, you know, if you, if you know me and if you've worked with me before, you know that I'm very, 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 um, you know, I really encourage my no matter what, um, people to understand and feel what exactly your emotions are because when you understand what they are you can actually go to the next level up so i hope that is helpful to you on monday manifesting um video today a um, couple things too um we had an amazing amazing um manifesting circle which i am now streaming on to my I wish I'd known Facebook page. If you would like to be in any of those in my manifesting circle, um, you you know I, I think yeah I think you're actually getting the emails to remind you because obviously you're watching this. Um, but if you want to join the if you don't want to join in Zoom, you can now see it every Sunday or whenever you have time um, in the I wish I'd known Facebook group. So it is a way of kind of honoring my book. Um, and I had a lot of people in today, which was really and new people, which is amazing. So either one of those, if you want to come in and kind of just discuss the book, we were talking about med meditation. I did a little breath work um, of because we kind of ran over over time and I did some, um, you know, this beautiful Kundalini um, breath work. So I encourage you to either come on the manifesting circle or to join my, I wish I'd known Facebook group. Um, what was the other thing? And stay tuned. I'm going to be sending out um, my whole book signing um, schedule, which is starting on the 28th special surprise for you um on the 28th which i'm not gonna i'm not gonna divulge just now but it's really big and i'm really excited um i will i will be up in new york for the strand but then there is something happening before that which maybe i'll i'll um share with you next sunday or sorry next um monday's email um because you know, when I learned to stay in the frequency of joy and love, um, I'm able to, I mean, so many things are coming to me and manifesting in my life. Um, and I, I really want the same for everybody. And I want this, everybody to experience this feeling because it is a feeling that is not something, tan well, there are tangible things that are happening, but the feeling of manifesting, you know, manifesting joy and love is of course a feeling that we get to feel inside. So I would love to know if this makes sense to you, if you were able to go and Google um, the emotional scale, either through Gabby Bernstein or again, through Abraham Hicks, this is something that really, really helped me because of, uh, we all want to be open to what is on our way. Okay, so thank you so much. And I hope I see either all of you in either my manifesting circle or my book club. Okay, take care. Thank you.